What's up guys? I'm Ryan with Ryan Epps Fishing. Now on today's video, y'all gonna be seeing tournament footage, Morristown Marine, stop number one, Cherokee Lake. It's gonna be a good time. Y'all sit back, relax. Hope y'all enjoy today's video. Certified Jim Dandy. Toad right there. What did I say? That's a good looking crack right there. there. Good looking crack. You called that shot. <laughs> That's why I hate that. There we go. Good call. Good call. 180. He hit it so hard the first time I didn't say nothing. <laughs> didn't say nothing. I was hoping he'd come back and get it. He hit it so hard he knocked the slack in the line. Then he come back and ate it. 180. Good call. pretty hard I was deeper but my fish is smaller so gotta keep that in mind
I like this bank. Oh yeah. No oh, way. 332. Oh god, I thought it was a bigger than that. I'm over who I am once I get it locked in. We're in double digits. We're at 10, 73, almost 11. Making some progress. I just got the other That's a call. That's a big call. This is a small one. Oh, he hit it. He hit it the first time. Knocked slack in it. And I didn't pull. He came back and got it. You got to figure out. That gets rid of our other pound, 87. The two something. There's another almost half pound upgrade. What's my next call? Oh God. That one will be your next call. That one you just caught. That or that large mouth, those are two small ones. We need a big large mouth. We need a big large mouth. It's one of those days, I honest to God, don't know what more you could do. Five pounders. I know, but I mean, like I don't know what more you could do with this. Pattern? Yeah. Just keep going up bluffs till you hopefully run into another tree. I mean, we've got some trees up there that give me a lot of hope. And then like you say, we could run into a creek and just swing for the fence. I'd get a trap out or something. That felt good. choice do we have now? Go back out to that main lake where the large mouth would be the first place they stop to turn into that uh, small spawn pocket on the main lake. Okay. And then we at least know what our time is. We don't have to worry about the idle zone. Come on. 255. That calls us. How much? Quarter of a pound. One ninety one, five fish. 
boat 191 with five fish today. Ryan Epps and Jesse Hurst. Did you guys catch them today? Not enough. Not enough, you fish. Five fish on the line for Mr. Epps and Mr. Hurst. Another week. 1361. 1367. 1387. That's all back, guys. Good job. Thanks for coming in today. Danny Roberts. Thank you. All right, guys, let's talk about what worked today. Now, this might be the shortest, simplest exit that we've ever had on this channel. So basically, we just kind of picked up where we left off in practice. Uh, Y'all saw me catching a few uh, smallmouth on the A rig in practice. We basically, we just kept that up in the tournament. And um, we didn't get a lot of bites. I think over the course of the day, I think we had about nine, I think we caught about nine fish. Um, but you know, we had a solid day. Can't complain about it. Uh, pretty simple deal, really. Basically, what we were doing, we were just focusing on uh, main lake stuff, channel bends, uh, primary points, and uh, we were looking for those transitions that steep to, to 45 transitions, uh, those rock transitions where you go from uh, you know, your bluff rock to boulder rock. Um, that's what you saw us hitting for the most part throughout the day. There were a few little oddball places there, but uh, for the most part, that was the pattern we were running. Um, throwing an A-Rig, nothing special about it. Just your basic old A-Rig uh, with some Kitek style swim baits on it. It really is that simple. Um, so the setups that I'm throwing the A-Rig on, it's the same setups that y'all saw me throw in practice. This one right here, this is a die with the Tula 7 foot 3 heavy swim bait rod. Uh, I've got it paired up with a die with the Tula 300 reel. Uh, got 20 pound fluorocarbon on there. Um, the other setup that you saw me throw it on, that's a 7 foot 3 uh, Ducket Micro Magic Pro. Uh, that one's a heavy as well. Uh, either rod right there, this one's a little bit overkill, uh, especially the reel. But hey, if you got it, throw it. Uh, it'll handle it just fine. Um, but the Micro Magic does uh, does well for for lighter A rigs too. Um, really, it's that simple. Uh, we started out uh, in one section of the lake there, and uh, got a limit down there uh, in a little bit clearer water uh, down on the lower end of the lake. And then uh, throughout the day, we just kind of started creeping up. We ended up committing at the end of the day to run up uh, into some muddier water on up the lake a little bit. And uh, we were able to cull out a few of our smaller fish uh, with a couple large mouth uh, that really helped. And I think we even culled a small mouth up there. Um, so, you know, that bite seemed to be pretty consistent uh, up the lake. Um, we didn't have anything for the guys that wanted. I mean, I think it took, I don't even remember, it was way up there, let's put it that way. It was something like 18, 19 pounds wanted, uh, I believe, if I remember right. Uh, there's a couple seven pound large mouth weight in, so go figure. Uh, so we, we weren't anywhere in the ballpark of that, but we did have a solid day. I think we ended up having like 1387, something like that. Um, and uh, that put us, uh, I think that put us 27th, somewhere right in there. Top 30, regardless. Uh, so not bad to start the year out. Um, Fairly happy with it. Could have been better, could have been worse. Uh, but we'll take it and move on to South Holston. See what we can figure out there. So that is all I got for y'all today, guys. If you like the videos, make sure you go hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. That's going to let you all know when I put out all my new videos. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I will get back to y'all with any answers I can give you. Until next time, y'all make some time. Get out there on the water and catch you a few. I'm Ryan Epp.